For those of us who have been keen on quick autos since the 1970s, the waiting impression remains that Lamborghinis are long on looks and huge, noisy motors and short on modernity, innovation, and refinement. This began changing in 1998 after Audi obtained Lamborghini, and the progress quickened with the presentation of the Gallardo around five years after the fact. With each resulting new auto, Lamborghini has become more genuine about offering a more total arrangement of car excellencies. The most amazing one yet is the new Huracan Performant. As the name proposes, this is the superior rendition of the normal Huracan, as though such an idea bodes well for an auto that can hand the quarter mile over 10.4 seconds at 135 miles per hour in standard frame. Be that as it may, the Performant pulls it off, setting up another creation auto record of 6 minutes. 52.1 seconds at the Nürburgring Nordschleife. Indeed, a Lamborghini test pilot was in the driver's seat and the auto was outfitted with super sticky Pirelli P0 Trufio R tires. Yet at the same time, that is somewhere in the range of 35 seconds snappier than a base Hurricane's lap time. A 360 degree approach. Accomplishing such a monstrous change required overhauls in a few zones of the auto. Lamborghini R&D supervisor Maurizio Regini calls this a 360-degree way to deal with execution. For the performant, this implies more power yet in addition weight diminishment, suspension upgrades, and the expansion of an imaginative streamlined bundle. The additional power was empowered by fitting new titanium consumption valves. Their lighter weight made conceivable a more sizzling admission camshaft profile with more noteworthy span and lift. Combined with a more liberated streaming fumes framework and a less prohibitive air channel, the Performant motor makes 29 more horses for an aggregate of 631 at 8000 revolutions per minute minus 250 revs lower than the standard Oerkin's energy crest. Pinnacle torque increments by 30 pounds to foot to 443 at an unaltered 6500 revolutions per minute. The progressions make for a conveniently more full power bend over 4000 revolutions per minute. A weight decrease of around 90 pounds influences this more grounded motor's life to considerably less demanding. The kilos and grams were shaved by fitting more carbon fiber parts on the performant. These utilization Lamborghinis protected forged composite innovation, which utilizes inward and external forms under strain to make more perplexing and more affordable parts than conventional overlay development. Setup of the mind-boggling woven texture example of the customary carbon fiber parts, these rather take after a dark and dim form of tortoise shell yet at the same time look marvelous in their own specific manner. There's likewise an upgraded stainless steel debilitate framework that utilizations less difficult pipes and a focal outlet to spare 22 pounds alone. Remember that 90 pounds is the net diminishment after the weight included by the new streamlined bundle. Strengthening the case to coordinate the extra push, the ability to weight proportion is 7% better, the performant gets 10% stiffer spring rates and thicker hostel to move bars to create a 15% expansion in move solidness. Recalibrated, discretionary, magnet or heological dampers coordinate these stiffer segments, as do suspension bushings that are 50% stiffer both pivotally and radially. While the tire and wheel sizes don't increment, about the same as a current Porsche 911 Carreras, the elastic heightens from standard Pirelli P0s to the track-situated P0 Casa tires. Also, much stickier P0 Trufio R's are accessible as an alternative. At long last, the performance gets a streamlined bundle called ALA, which remains for aerodynamic Lamborghini Attiva. The framework includes a front splitter and a noticeable back ring to make as much as 770 pounds of downforce at 193 miles per hour significantly expanding fast grasp. The Ativa in the name implies dynamic, and the framework can diminish its downforce, and related drag, utilizing some sharp building. In front, a couple of grille folds can open, mitigating the pneumatic stress over the splitter to enormously diminish drag and downforce. In the back, the wing is empty, just like its supporting struts, and there's a progression of spaces on the underside of the wing that are available to its interior pit. A couple of air scoops situated before the struts are controlled by mechanized folds and can bolster air into this empty wing. At the point when the folds are closed, wind currents over the wing customarily, making a lot of downforce and speed. In any case, when the folds open, wind currents into the wing and out through the spaces, slowing down the wing and lessening both downforce and drag. 
This is a substantially less complex and lighter approach than utilizing a type of linkage to change the edge of the wing. It additionally enables side-to-side -side alterations, as there is a division amidst the wing's depression. So by slowing down just a single side of the wing, it's conceivable to adjust the vertical power on the back tires amid cornering. Enlivened at Imola We had an incredible chance to assess these progressions at the Imola circuit, close to Lamborghini's Santa Gattabolini Central Station. In spite of the fact that the track has been reconfigured with a few new chicanes since the mischance that executed Ayrton Senna in 1994, it is as yet a to a great degree quick circuit, appropriate to intense autos. With the Anima, Lamborghini represent driving mode selector, set to the circuit situated Casa setting. The auto is designed to have most extreme downforce, the stiffest stun reaction, and heavier controlling with a direct and quicker proportion. Truly, a quicker proportion. The performance is accessible with Lamborghini Dynamic Steering, which permits changes in the guiding proportion, not only the directing exertion and input alterations that have turned out to be commonplace in execution autos. In Casa mode, as well, the 7-speed double-grip programmed gearbox works in full manual mode, slamming hard moves as you control the expansive oars on the guiding segment. It really is great that the oars are expansive and simple to reach in light of the fact that the motor approaches its red line so rapidly that essentially moving before you skip off the rev limiter requires fixation. However, inside a couple of laps, we'd adapted precisely which recurrence of the V10S hostile thunder flag that we were moving toward the 8500 revolution per minute red line. That red line is very high for a motor with the V10S longish stroke and humble starting points. It did, all things considered advance from Audi's V8 motor that propelled for the 1990 model year, which thus was gotten from Volkswagen Golf power plants backpedaling to the 1970s. In spite of these strands of low-conceived DNA, it's a magnificently fulfilling motor with awesome charm and no turbochargers to homogenize its admission and few soundtracks. The carbon-fired brakes felt completely fit for adapting to the motor's energy, and the improved suspension gave the auto a planted and secure feel. The performance hands over well, and notwithstanding having all-wheel drive, it's the last part that breaks free first. Inside a couple of laps, we were seeing 170 miles per hour on the longest straight and sliding the auto through the tight chicanes as we utilized the controlling to fix the auto's line. The performance generous nature close to its taking care of cut off made its outrageous execution open. Wandering on the avenue. Outside the bounds of the track, we flicked the anima to strada, Italian for road, and cheerfully trundled along through thick city activity. The dynamic dampers are gentler in this mode, and, while firm, the ride never felt cruel over the genuinely smooth Italian streets. In the meantime, controlling exertion is more direct and the transmission works in a programmed mode, moving for itself easily and giving the forceful motor a chance to daydream at low RPM, which it is superbly happy to do. The performance comes standard with an insignificantly flexible track arranged seat, however purchasers can likewise select the agreeable, exceedingly movable standard seats. Forward perceivability is amazing, the Stream Warrior cluster of switches inevitably bodes well, and you can value pompous touches, for example, the splendid red flip-up cover that secures the motor begin switch. The instrument group is an expansive TFT screen that is widely reconfigurable to suit your impulses. Be that as it may. The tachometer is to some degree difficult to peruse, and, given how quickly the motor quickens, a head-up show would be a decent expansion. Regardless of whether utilized as a track instrument or a Sunday escape vehicle, the Hurricane performance fulfills and exceeds expectations. Furthermore, for the individuals who still trust Lamborghinis are exclusively suited for blowing some people's minds in the city, the performance is truly great at that also.